Hey Libra, hope you guys are doing really well. All right guys, getting ready to start your reading. This will be a general collective reading for the sign of Libra, sun, moon, rising. Let's see what? No, sun, moon. <laughs> sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I was actually right. <laughs> I get ahead of myself. All right guys, please only take what resonates as always and leave the rest okay. All right, Spirit, for my Libra Collective, please, what messages do you have today? Some starter messages for you guys. Magic, manifestation, self-mastery, beautiful. All right. The muse, creative inspiration. Okay, so maybe you are in some state of self-mastery here. Maybe you've been working hard on yourself here. You could be trying to manifest something into being. I don't know if you have. I don't know. Maybe you are very creative as well. You could be in some kind of, I don't know, creative art, you know. I guess it could be, um, honestly, it could be anything. You could be an inspiration or inspirational speaker. No, that's wrong. A motivational speaker in some sense. But... You could be an artist, you could play an instrument, you could be a writer, painter, so many things you could be, right? I definitely think you could be a musician, I may have said that. I just think that something is being sparked in you, and maybe it does say the muse, you know, maybe somebody is inspiring you, it could definitely be someone who's around you here, yeah, look at this, you're feeling some kind of renewed purpose maybe in your life you're feeling very hopeful maybe about some kind of new beginning or something that you are getting ready to get off the ground here maybe you finally reached some kind of clarity about a specific situation or which way that you want to go here i see somebody that's very balanced in their emotions but also somebody who's found some kind of harmony specifically in their own life obviously we see a lot of water around this individual right so I don't know if you're near water, if that's something, maybe that is something that's actually inspiring you as well. I think I'm going to put that card right there because I think it has something to do with it. All right. Loving the beginning here because we've had some complicated readings for Libra. So let's see what is coming up for you. It looks like maybe you have been able to uh, regain some kind of balance despite the other things that have been going on. It looks like in your life here. And you may be heading in a different direction here, honestly. All right, Spirit, let's see. Four Libras, please. It's coming up. Three of Swords, yeah. I'm not surprised to see that. Not with the other, the other readings here. Yeah, you've... So you've had to really persevere through something here. Something could have really... Could have hurt you obviously created some grief in your life okay this is why i feel like you th this is so beautiful for me that you're finally getting you have hope again you have a renewed sense of uh, purpose here okay and clarity in terms of which way you want to go you may be feeling a little bit guarded at this time as well but again that's a card to me of persevering right so let's just keep going for my libras please give me libras energy so you may not be so focused. Yeah, you could be moving all together. <laughs> you could be completely moving away from something here. This is definitely a card of having self-control, pulling everything together. You could have had to pick yourself back up from something that was, I don't know, very, um, could have been very depleting for you, to be honest with you. It could have taken you down just for a minute here. Heartaches are never easy, right? Especially if there's some kind of betrayal, which this could have certainly been surrounding the heartache. But I feel like you're moving away from that. And again, you could be relocating all together with this chariot, okay? But you're definitely moving away from a particular situation is what I'm feeling here. I think you're coming across very determined. Yeah, look at this. Very determined at this time. Very strong. Um, even courageous here. Maybe that's something you had to really work on gathering to make some changes in your own life. You do feel inspired by something that has taken place here. And maybe that is something that you're building on your own. Maybe you're just focused, Libra, on your own stability and on living your life and building something really beautiful for yourself here, okay? Yeah, you're looking at all of your options at this particular time. Hmm. Okay. What else? 
Spirit for Libra's energy, please. Yeah, so you might be looking at all of your options here. Look at this. Yeah, the hangman. It's actually coming out in reverse here. I think you're going to need to sacrifice some kind of fear here. I don't know what the fear is about. Maybe the fear is about... I, I could see maybe if you're stepping into a new relationship or something like that, or if somebody's approached you about that, being very fearful. Something here has to be let go of, okay? So even though you may be making a move or you may have gathered all of your willpower together, I think something here has to be dealt with, okay? Or let go of, fully released here. I see you are looking at your other options as well. So maybe those will also help you, but maybe there's still a fear associated with something here that's happened in the past year that's got to be let go of. Let me see what this is about. What's coming up for Libra? Look at that. You got another car. You are definitely, you You could very well be moving, okay? You could also just be traveling, but you're making some kind of transition here and you're definitely leaving something behind, okay, and moving on. And I'm thinking it's from whatever created this, this heartbreak for you, all right? This deception, perhaps. What else, Spirit? For Libra, what are, who is coming in for Libra? High Priestess in reverse. Okay. All right. So this could be some secrets, actually. I'm asking what or who is coming in for you. I can clearly see that you're moving beyond something. Maybe you're still, maybe that's why you're guarded as well. You, you may still be questioning yourself, honestly, Libra. This is about loss of self here, the high priestess. It's about repressing things. You could definitely be repressing a lot of emotions. You know what? That's not shocking to me. That would that would absolutely be why the hangman is actually in reverse here because spirit was definitely saying that you needed to sacrifice something. Okay? You need to sacrifice some kind of fear here. Maybe that is because there's been or sacrifice maybe I, I don't think that would be a sacrifice though. Something needs to be healed then. If there's repression, that means something needs to be looked at and it needs to be probably left behind here. Could be involving this Knight of Cups here in reverse, okay? This could have been someone who came into your life that could have been very moody. Maybe you're looking at that as maybe it was some kind of fantasy. Maybe they threw that kind of illusion on you. The King of Cups Uprights has the propensity to say things and even love bomb, but not actually follow through here. Okay, somebody could have done that to you, which could have created some issues here. If this person is trying to come back into you, I'm going to let you know this person here has a lot of secrets is what I'm feeling here. This card also speaks about a loss of self here. So somebody is definitely not feeling. This might be somebody you're actually moving away from though. Or somebody that you had to really try and gain control or some kind of discipline even to kind of stay away from or to move on from. Hmm. I have Cancer, I have Leo, I have, what else do I have? Honestly, I don't know what the hangman is. Is that Virgo? I don't think so. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. That's crazy that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. Hangman. That's strange, I can't remember what that is. Okay, maybe, I don't think it's Virgo. I think that's the hermit but you do have the high priestess here too so maybe some pisces energy cancer energy we got the full card coming up and then we have the sun okay this is what i'm going to say to you i definitely feel yeah and then we have five of wands coming in as well some kind of conflict. You may very well be conflicted about something, and it may be because somebody is returning here. All right. Maybe you've gotten yourself out of some kind of troubled waters, try to move on, leave something behind. Maybe you're still repressing a lot of the pain and haven't dealt with it. Okay. Or this could be somebody that's trying to make a comeback here that still has a lot of uh, secrets. Okay. This person, again, will be very fickle. They're going to be moody. Again, all this throwing fantasy instead of the truth here, okay? 
instead of following through is what I want to say. The fool is upright, though. I mean, you may be looking at this person as someone who's very inexperienced, or maybe you're looking like, I'm just trying, you know, I've gathered my strength here. Um, you know, I just want to move away to something that is better for me, go out for some new opportunities, have some fun here. But for, so I don't, this might be new Libra. I'm wondering because I still feel there is something around this. We have the sun in a, for, a reverse. So we have Aries, more Leo. Um, there's still something around this. There's still some negativity around this. So I don't know if you feel like you can't leave this behind or this, you know, with hangman, uh, in reverse, this could be telling me that you're not leaving it behind because it's definitely indicating here that you have to sacrifice um, and that there may be some fear of this actual sacrifice. So have you actually, are you just now walking away or are you willing to let this person go here? Something about this situation seems very negative to me. There could be a lot of depression around this, a lot of sadness around this. Ultimately, you might feel like you're competing for someone's attention here as well, or there's a lot of conflict in this. Let me get an outcome for Libra, because I can see, I wonder, as you're renewed, this hope that you have here, I don't see that as you going backwards. You have two cards of you moving. I think you're trying to get away from something here. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. Emotional stability here. Could also be someone being smug, though. Let me get the other cards here. Three of Cups. Celebration here. Friendship, community, happiness. I mean, this is what's awaiting you here is what I'm feeling. So you could be moving towards a time where you're feeling a sense of satisfaction. You could be, yeah, look at this. You could be moving towards a time of emotional stability as well here. You could be coming together with other friends. This could be new friends as well. Really a time of celebration here. Um, this is some kind of new beginning for you here with this death card, okay? You've finally been able to put something behind. So I think this is what this is telling me. Yes, you're moving away from something, but you're carrying around the wounds and those have to be released and sacrificed in order for you to come out of these still emotions here and these emotions that are still harming you in some way okay if not then just because we go to a different place or you know what i'm saying move or change our scenery we're still taking all of our experiences with us right it is when you begin to release those experiences that you're going to see that you're getting actually some kind of emotional stability for yourself and you're also going to be celebrating with others, okay? So I really feel like that has to do with you just feeling better and getting out, meeting new people, new beginnings, right? Yeah, look, things are going to be turning for you in a very good direction here, Libra. You have the Wheel of Fortune card coming out. That shows me that you're going to be moving towards the time of more fortune here. Um, this may be a faded time for you. You just had to get through that hurdle. That could also be where you start to really embrace um, you're manifesting, you're already manifesting this, whatever. You may be manifesting just from what you don't want, right? You could be like, oh God, I need some help out of this situation. God is actually helping you out of this situation here. But I think you're going to come into a time where you have, you feel in harmony with your actual emotions here and very clear, okay? Again, a renewed sense of purpose. Look at this. And now we have a Knight of Wands that is coming in. All right, this could be um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Here's somebody coming through that is very passionate. Yeah, very action oriented, though. This is usually a, this is a night to me that is pretty fearless. OK, they're very passionate. They go after what they want. Yeah, what's some kind of offer here? Somebody has some kind of offer here. This might be a, this is definitely going to be some kind of happy surprise from you. So somebody is going to come in with some kind of sensitivity, some kind of offer. It looks like to you, this can be kind of a dreamy energy here. All right. I'm going to get a couple more for Libra just because of everything that's happened. Whoa. Okay. Whatever this is, I think it's going to come. This is going to create some kind of foundational shift for you because I think you don't see it coming here with this tower card. Okay. Oh, okay, so then we have seven. So is this your per I pray this is not your person from the past. Were they kind of a player energy? Doesn't have to be, but certainly could be here. Uh, 
They are, obviously, wands are always about passion, right? Sometimes they can get a bad rap, though. This person does seem like they're they're a bit emotional here. Now, if this is that person, this could be freaking you out as well because they're bringing some kind of, maybe some kind of apology or something like that. But honestly, I have the seven of coins in reverse here. So I don't know that this is someone who you're going to want to invest in. No, definitely not. Then we have the ten of wands. No, this is not going to be someone who you want to invest in because it looks to me, even if it's just somebody coming in on this player energy, somebody brand new, you're not going to want to invest with them, period. Okay. You feel like this is a lot of work without results here. Too many distractions here as well. No rewards in this situation. You feel like this is very burdensome here. Okay. Um, a lot of burdens to carry for you. You're just not going to want to invest with this person. So I think you're definitely very much so head over heart at this time to make these decisions for you or to help you with your decisions, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So we got the seven of swords as well. You don't trust somebody. You definitely don't trust somebody here. Okay. Maybe you feel like this person is deceptive or maybe you just don't Maybe you just feel like you have to be strategic in this situation, right? You're not ready to go into another relationship or go back, perhaps, to the same relationship that you were in before. Huh. Okay. I, I don't think I want to pull these because... Let me do some of these to see because I like to see. Spirit, give me some context on this situation. I think it's pretty clear. It's almost like, Libra, do you want to get out of this... It could have been a very draining, emotional, emotionally manipulative, honestly, situation that you were in. And it's kind of it's kind of telling you how to do that. What has to be let go first? Yeah, something bullying point. I was trying to see what was going on. You got a male running here. So you could have had someone that was running or you could be the male. Okay, but something definitely came to some kind of bullying point here. I can't help but notice that's in a cauldron. <laughs> Hopefully nobody was cooking something up and interfering that way. Let's say, okay, so somebody could have caught, been caught doing something to here. There could have been some kind of evidence. Um, maybe it was about cheating. I don't really know. I mean, that, that definitely has lipstick and hearts on his shirt, you know, regarding a love situation. So maybe it was regarding someone cheating. Yeah, whatever this was. Look at these cards. There's some, okay. Right off the bat, I don't see this as very good cards. There's definitely a lot of drama in this situation that you were with before, okay? But it was definitely a love situation here, okay? Where you felt like you were with someone maybe that you cared for very deeply, hence the broken heart here. Maybe you felt like you were going to be with this person. Somebody could have been trying to pacify. Oh, I hate that card. Somebody could have been trying to pacify the other one through love bombing, maybe saying the right things, but still being a runner, you know, not following through. Yeah, whatever this was, you may have felt someone here was in it to score and it just ended up being some kind of disaster or it ended up in some kind of disaster there. I think you're going to have the last word here, honestly, because this part, if this is the same person and it honestly, that player energy, it could definitely be the same person. Um, it looks like if they are trying to come back into the picture, you are definitely going to be the one that says this is just too much. It's too burdensome, too much. Too many things hidden here, too much trickery here, too much deception. This is not something that I want to invest in, period. Okay. All right. Let me get some. I'm just going to get some last. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, do you have any additional advice for the Libra tonight, please? So maybe this is like a test, honestly, Libra coming back to you. It could definitely be. This is Odin, Psychic Insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is and follow your intuition. Wow. More confirmation. All right. What else there? Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Libra, there, there's so much confirmation. I mean, honestly, you're on the right track. And I think leaving a situation rebuilding yourself and opening up to new opportunities is about to change everything for you but don't hang on to those past hurts you gotta let those go transcendence rise up honor your inner force look at this steps are being given dance with the universe i'm telling you you're moving forward and into a much happier time is what it looks like okay 
All right, Libra, that's what I have for you guys tonight. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you guys and certainly be helpful. Let me know, okay? I will see you guys very soon. Bye.